the mission to find the scroll of the hidden prophecy was no child's play, for their journey was not that smooth sailing as they came across obstacles on the way. Their journey led them to trace the scroll to Tibet, in which points them to Ametimu's palace, and when they got to the palace, they discovered information that leads to an exiled princess who owns a wolf skin book called Akana. And if they can have the possession of this book, it will give accounts of where to find the scroll of the hidden in prophecy. The professor and Rachel Stacks successfully obtained the book from the vault of the exile princess whom was protected by hundreds of bodyguards and they were persistent in getting the book back from them but the professor was having none of it which made them go through a lot of commotion when trying to escape with the wolf skin book Akana. It was a near death experience for the both of them as they hang by the hook of a ruined train in mercy of two of the remaining men of the exiled princess whom were holding them at gunpoint. But the professor counseled the two men, made them his friends and promised to give them new respectable jobs for which they were grateful. The information they got from the wolfskin book Akana made them track the scroll of the hidden prophecy to the Indian Ocean where the professor discovered a sunken temple which was beneath the waters which he found out that the temple was sunk deliberately and it was not even on the world map. As he swam deeper beneath the temple which was built in the 10th century, he discovered inscripted hieroglyphs which he deciphered and it revealed important information about the secret society whom are a bloodline which was started by a traveler who came from the parallel earth trying to build a bridge or a pathway which will connect the two earths and this goes way back to ancient Babylon. Rachel Starks notified the professor that that the boat was surrounded by pirates who were ready to capture the boat while at the same time the professor was defending himself from sharks at the same time the pirates were closing in on their boat by climbing into it and the professor had 12 minutes of oxygen for he was stuck in a hole trying to avoid the sharks standing in his way to give himself and Rachel Stacks leverage against the pirates and the sharks, he decided to infuse a part of the temple with explosives and inform Rachel Stacks to throw a gun down at him as soon as the explosives go off. As soon as the explosives went off, which took the pirates by surprise, Rachel Stacks killed all of them at a go and then dropped the gun for the professor who gunned down the sharks on his way upwards. They finally traced the scroll of the hidden prophecy to Syria in Damascus. They met with one of the professor's friend, Arik, whom they explained what their mission was about and they want to go to the temple of Bel in the city of Palmyra. But the bad news is that it had been captured by Islamic insurgents and and the good news is that they can be bribed, which will cost the professor two million dollars, which is not a problem for him, for he decided to go play poker at a local casino to make the two million dollars to bribe the insurgents. Rachel Stax was curious on how Arik met the professor in which he related that he met the professor when he was at his lowest point but the professor supported him and helped him overcome his demons that the professor is a very good man with a good heart but his flaws was his addiction to high stake risk which sometimes get him into bad situations and not too surprising the professor beat the house and made the two million dollars he needed to use as 
as bribe to the insurgents. But there is a problem. The people that he beat at poker are not happy he is living with their money. 